Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be working on this nail art design. Let's get started. I've been using this beautiful pink nail polish by P2, it's called Cute Girl, the entire week and I decided to change it up a little bit so I'm going to be using this beautiful, it's like a dark raspberry color by Pure Ice and this one's called All Vamped Out. So I'm just going to be applying this color over three of my fingernails, my middle fingernail, my pinky fingernail and my thumbnail. It's just a very rich dark color. So here you could see the fingernails where I applied this burgundy nail polish color. Now I'm going to go in with a black nail polish color. It's also by Pure Ice and this one's called Black Out. And I'm going to be applying this one over my ring fingernail. And I want to be pretty quick with this step because I'm going to be adding glitter on top. So I'm not going to worry about cleaning the sides or anything yet. I'm just going to go directly on and apply those glitters because I need the nail polish to be wet while I do this. And I also placed a paper um, under the glitters. That way any fallout I could just pour it back into the little container. Now I'm just brushing out excess and this step is very important when you press down on the glitters because you want the most glitters to stick to that nail polish. You'll still have a little fallout but most of them should stay nicely in place. Now I'm going to clean out my sights with a cotton swab and a little bit of polish remover. So for my burgundy fingernails, I decided on a matte top coat. I'm using the Julie G. Jessie's Girl brand. Now the nail design, I only decided to paint it over my pointer fingernail and I'm just going to be painting a couple of burgundy stripes. These are going to be branches for my cherry blossom. And I'm going to go in with a white color and I'm just going to paint a bigger flower. It's going to be a five petal flower. Now over the branches I'm going to be adding little clusters of three dots. And this is just the background for my flowers and I'm doing just random little clusters here and there over the branches. Now I'm going to go in with a pink color and I'm going to dot certain areas of those clusters. And I'm also going to be adding the same pink color to the bigger flower. And I'm just randomly just scribbling some of that pink over each of the flower petals. Now I'm going to go in with a burgundy and a striper brush and I'm just adding some of that burgundy to the bigger flower just making those strands going outwards towards the flower petals and also dotting that same burgundy over the little clusters. Now it's time to go in and add a little tiny bit of black just dotting those little clusters and for the bigger flower I am going to just add it to the center of the flower. Now I'm going in with the yellow color and just dotting those little clusters a little bit of yellow and the bigger flower just adding the dots to the center of the flower. Now I'm going to make one final branch connecting to the bigger flower with the burgundy color and I also decided to paint black leaves and they're just tiny little black leaves here and there over the branches. And for this fingernail, I also decided on a matte top coat. And that's it. That's how you're going to get this nail art design done. I'll make sure to list all the products I use for this design in the description section. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.